Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So in this video, we will learn about the parents, children and also the sibling in our current application. So the current HTML element what we have written, let's try to see it here. So here, if you try to observe this one carefully, so here in this one, so this is our main tag. If I open the paint and if I try to show you, let's try to see in our perspective. So here, this is our thing. First, we have a main tag. So this is the main. So, so this is our main tag. Main element is the parent. And this one is having three elements. Okay. Main is having three elements. If you try to observe here, main is having three elements. That is nothing but H1, due, and also another due. Okay. Let's write right here H1. And here it is having due. And also here it is also having another due. In return, Again, if you try to see h1 doesn't have anything and this div is having again three elements that is h2 two paragraph elements so let's try to write it here this div is having three elements one two and also the three h2 and another one is paragraph element and another one is also a paragraph element for this div id is equal to wrapper 2 this one is also having some children that is nothing but h2 and p single h2 and p go here and this one is having h2 and p so this is the entire dom structure if you try to see here this is the entire dom tree structure and main will be consisting of body body will be having the html html will be having the document root so like this the <coughs> dom tree will be having but according to our uh, application the html tree what we have did, whatever we have designed from the main perspective of the from the main tag onwards i am trying to show you i have designed a simple and easy one so i am not uh, uh, creating the complex html structure so just i want to show you with a simple example and here so this one is called as a parent so here from the perspective this one is called as a parent and these are children's okay so these are children's so these are called as children's and these all are called as a siblings so from this perspective of the path so here we call it as a siblings siblings we call it as a siblings so like this the structure will be so from the here concept you, if you try to observe so this one is called parent and these are children and these are siblings and here but this perspective we can say that the h1 du and du these are all also called as a siblings if you try to see and when you see from here onwards this div is called as a parent and this h2 pp are called as a children and these are side by side this all belongs to the same parent so that is the reason we call it as a siblings these are the siblings for example now what we need to do we need to traverse the dom so now we need to traverse the dom so all the time what you will be doing so in order to access the dom elements we have this different access methods like get element by tag name those all things we have seen it but now sometimes you will be able to find something like you need to traverse to the parent node and also the sum of the nodes parent and all those things which doesn't have any particular uh, uh, notation for that one so for finding that one so for in these scenarios so we have different types of methods if you try to observe we have different types of methods so those are called as a first one so like uh, some examples like first child last child parent node uh, and uh, what i can say so parent node so like this we will be having some methods okay <clears throat> next sibling previous sibling so like this we will be having different types of methods so we'll try to see one by one about these all the things so first we'll try to uh, learn about the first method that is nothing but parent node so this is all about the what i can say about the dom tree structure so parent children and sibling so based on the parent children and sibling based on where you are accessing so it depends so for example let's say that you are having something like so previously we have seen it right so we are having a uh, due and in this due view you, you will be having three things something like h1 and h2 h2 and a paragraph and also a paragraph you are having so these are having right so now if you try to add, if you got this element and you want to access the parent node for this one means so you need to have a method that is nothing but parent node so like this for this one you will be having a parent node so parent node is main for this one you will be having a parent node that is nothing but body so like this we need to have 
so now my scenario is that means my requirement is you have a paragraph element and you need to go through this one so you need to go to the body to the grand great grand parent you need to go to the body and you need to change the background color to blue so this is our requirement let's try to see it so now if you go into the i am going uh, to this one only uh, what i can say so in the dev tools inspect element so here what i want to do so here you are having a p element so that means in the elements if you go so this is the paragraph element i am having so you know about this dollar zero variable so let's try to take this one let p is equal to dollar zero okay so now p consists of oh sorry p consists of this link now i want to go to the body and i want to apply the background color of blue so how can i do here so we got a parent so let's go to the parent node so we know about this one so parent node so if you go to the parent node so this parent node is nothing but div id is equal to wrapper okay so now we need to go again to the parent node so you can also use the chaining so chaining chaining functionality so parent node so you can also use the parent node so now this time we will go to the main so now i want i will apply the parent node again so this will go to the body so now we have reached the body to aggregate gan parent so for this parent node what i will do so for this one i can apply style dot background color why because this one is returning an element object right so i can use it so blue i can apply a blue if i press enter see automatically that uh, the entire body has been changed to the blue color so now we have we have understood how to catch the parent node so this is all so we can also use the nested parent node like this so in order to get the uh, parent element now the next scenario is the sibling so i want to tell you about the sibling also i want to tell you about the sibling also in this one for example let's say that so we have an element here okay we have an h2 element here i want to catch the next sibling so that means the node which is on the same level the node which is on the same level is p so the next sibling i want to catch it so how can i catch it first let's try to catch the h2 h2 so let h2 is equal to dollar zero so we got the h2 so i want to have the next sibling means we have a property that is nothing but next sibling so now when you try it when you try to press enter so we are getting a text node so we are not getting the element node we are getting a text node so what is this happening here if you try to see the node value for this one this is an enter okay so what is this one is if you go to our code so this is our h2 right so the next node is nothing but text node so here you will be having the gap and the enter right so that node we are trying to catch it whenever you are trying to use the parent sibling sorry next sibling sorry next sibling whenever you are trying to use it will give you any type of node so all type of nodes are accepted so you cannot say that parent see a parent sibling will give you only the element object so it will not give you the element node it will give you the all type of nodes immediate nodes which is available so for example if i want to get the <coughs> element object means what i need what i can do is h2 dot parent element sibling parent sorry not parent i am uh, next element sibling so this is the thing so now you will be able to get the p tag so like this you will be having for example let's say that i will try to show you the direct scenario so for example you can have it like this okay i am having oh sorry this one is going in this right so let's try to save it or otherwise um, let's keep it like this only um, let's keep it like this so if you try to keep it here oh sorry let's go into the dom traverse reveal in file explorer where is this one yeah i will try to open it in the notepad plus plus then we'll be able to so that prettier is trying to automatically format it so i don't want to disable this prettier previously we did it in our videos i don't want to disable it <clears throat> so now there is no carriage return enter so now if you try to see let's go to the here and i am refreshing this page let's go to the element sibling again so h2 and here let h2 is equal to dollar zero and here this time h2 dot next sibling next sibling so this time you got the paragraph element c so there is no enter or carriage return right so we are able to get a paragraph so if you want to get it means you can use the next element sibling 
so this is all about the parent node and the siblings so catching the parent node and the siblings in the dom traversing so this is all about this one hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you